गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन ऑफ अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट स्टार्ट विद The first question is, what kind of satellite is TSAT 1A that was recently seen in the news? First of all, who has developed this satellite? Answer is Tata Advanced Systems Limited. They have launched this particular satellite, which is an optical sub-meter resolution Earth observation satellite. Okay, it has been launched with the help of Falcon 9 rocket, which belongs to. SpaceX. Okay, it was built in collaboration with Stellatonic Inc. and it offers military-grade imagery capabilities and multi-spectral as well as hyper-spectral imaging. So it has been deployed for Indian defense and uh, obviously it enhances the preparedness and strategic decision making. First time it was assembled in the state of Karnataka and uh, it marks the private sector's first foray into. military satellite development which is complementing india's existing isro built spy satellite right so this satellite is a kind of earth observation satellite and it has been developed by tata advanced systems limited next is recently which country has been introduced a new gold backed currency zik here it should not be been but which country has introduced a new gold backed currency named as zik this country is zimbabwe and uh, it is a new gold backed currency which saw a 0.2% is strengthening to 13.53 per us dollar following its debut despite this its introduction caused nationwide disruption because the banks retailers and uh, the utilities struggled to adapt obviously and governor has announced an exchange rate of 13.56 per dollar during the unveiling and the reserve bank of zimbabwe website published this data which highlights the country's ongoing efforts to establish a stable local currency right here correct answer is zimbabwe zimbabwe has introduced a new gold backed currency named as zik next is what is the iucn status of the chital deer which has recently been in the news due to an invasion in netaji subhash chandra bose island here correct answer would be least concern that is d option actually netaji subhash chandra bose island which is also known as the ross island is under threat from an invasion of chital deer and these deer are native to the indian subcontinent and currently they are facing habitat loss as well as illegal hunting so their distribution spans bangladesh india nepal Pakistan and Sri Lanka with a gestation period of 231 to 235 days they inhabit the riverine forest during the dry seasons and sal forest in the monsoon so they feed on grasses forbs leaves flowers and fruits and currently they are listed as the least concerned species by the IUCN in their red list okay here correct answer is d option that is least concerned now don't forget that recently india has invoked the world trade organizations peace clause for the fifth time okay because of rice subsidy limits so the clause shields developing nations from dispute challenges regarding the subsidy breaches and the global trade norms dictate the subsidies should not exceed 10% of the reference price so india seeks amendments to this formula and they have proposed the peace clause in 2013 as an entry measure until a permanent solution is negotiated okay you can be asked that recently which country has invoked the peace clause for rice at the world trade organization your answer would be india okay also recently the directorate general of trade remedies has recommended a 5 year anti dumping duty on sodium cyanide that is imported from which countries china european union japan and korea fine so this investigation is conducted under the customs investigation the customs tariff act and rules and it cited the suppressed prices production declines and financial losses for the domestic industry and economic non viability has led 
to the production suspension despite the capacity expansion so sodium cyanide which is used in various applications like insecticide and metal extraction appears as a white crystalline solid with the chemical formula NaCN right you can be asked that recently which organization recommended imposing an anti dumping duty on sodium cyanide your answer would be directorate general of trade remedies okay next question is recently who has been appointed as the coach of the senior national women's hockey team this is harinder singh and uh, his former indian hockey player also he is a uh, dronacharya awardee he has been chosen by hockey india to coach the senior national women's team until the 2028 los angeles olympics okay and he has replaced janike janike skopman of holland who resigned after the team's failure to qualify for the paris olympics so no formal announcement has been made due to the model code of conduct okay so here correct answer is harindra sek next is recently which state developed an air breathing magnesium copper cupric oxide fuel cell so researchers at the university of kerala developed an innovative air breathing magnesium copper cupric oxide fuel cell and unlike its predecessor the mgc fuel cell it features a reusable copper based cathode which offers enhanced operational stability so this eco friendly technology utilizes air and sea water so as to generate the power and it emits only water as the by product so it is anticipated to rival the impact of lithium ion batteries and now it is exclusively produces uh, producing the electricity and heat during the operation okay here correct answer would be a option that is kerala recently for the first time the gulf cooperation council that is gcc announced its vision for regional security in which city of saudi arabia here correct answer is a option riyadh and the gulf cooperation council has unveiled their first vision for regional security in riyadh marking a historic milestone since its establishment in 1981 so talking about gcc it comprises of saudi arabia kuwait uae then qatar bahrain and the country oman fine and gcc actually the fosters unity among the member states through shared political and cultural identities so the council's presidency rotates annually which reflects its commitment to collective objectives which is rooted in arab and islamic tradition okay correct answer here is riyadh also don't forget that south africa has decided to end the captive law in breeding due to the concerns over trophy hunting and the use of law in bones in traditional chinese medicine okay so environment minister there has announced that the country will stop breeding loins for a variety of reasons including the trophy hunting and the use of bones as a substitute for the tigers in traditional chinese medicine so south african government had already announced its intention to ban the breeding of loins for hunting in the year 2021 right you can be asked that which country has recently decided to end the captive loin breeding due to the concerns over trophy hunting and the use of loin bones in traditional chinese medicine your answer would be south africa okay next is recently what forms of assistance is india providing to nepal maldives sri lanka bangladesh and mauritius under the united nations initiative so india is contributing to the early warnings for all initiative by the united nations which aims to establish the life saving early warning systems for hazardous weather water or the climate events globally by the end of 2027 for this purpose we are collaborating with nepal maldives sri lanka bangladesh and mauritius and now india is aiding in setting up early warning weather system so these efforts enhance the disaster preparedness and response capabilities by providing timely alerts and the forecast for natural disasters like cyclone flood and storm okay here correct answer would be early warning weather system okay next is recently a fresh batch of igla s air defense system has arrived in india from which country so indian army has received the initial shipment of igla s from russia country as a part of a comprehensive deal that comprises of 120 launchers and 400 missile 
So this system bolstered the army's very short range air defense capabilities which is crucial in mountainous terrains along the northern border and uh, the domestic production is planned in India. Uh, one regiment has already deployed these advanced system which would replace the outdated IGLA 1M units in line with future indigenous development. Okay, Here correct answer would be last option that is Russia. Next is recently which country's army launched a campaign to collect the garbage from Mount Everest. This is the country Nepal. The Nepal army's mountain cleaning campaign at Mount Everest involves collecting 10 tons of garbage and retrieving 5 bodies. It is led by Aditya Karki and it is a 12 member team and they have started their work from 14th of April. It is supported by 18 Sherpas. So this initiative aims to combat human made pollution and climate change effects. The waste will be segregated with biodegradables treated locally and the non-biodegradables transported to Kathmandu. So this marks the fourth annual campaign which is led by Nepal army. Fine. So Nepal has launched a campaign to collect the garbage from Mount Everest. Next is recently which mission received the 2024 John L. Jack Swigert Junior Award for Space Exploration. Obviously Chandrayaan 3 mission and uh, it received the 2024 John L. Jack Swigert Junior Award for Space Exploration from the US based Space Foundation and uh, it is presented during the Space Symposium which recognizes outstanding contributions to the space exploration. So, the Space Foundation praised India's leadership in space which emphasizes its recent milestone of landing a spacecraft on the moon's south pole, right? So, here correct answer is A option that is Chandrayaan 3 mission. Also, if you talk about Russia, the Angara A5 a space rocket of Russia is set to mate its maiden launch from the Vostochny Cosmodrome and this three-stage marvel aims to deliver 24.5 tons of payload into the low orbit which replaces the veteran Proton M. So this launch site is strategically bordered in along China and Russia and this moment makes a significant leap in Russia's space sector which creates a new era in heavy lift rocket technology, right? You can be simply asked that Angara A A5 space rocket that was recently seen in the news has been developed by which country? Your answer would be Russia. Next is recently who became the first Indian to win a match in a Masters 1000 tournament on clay courts? This is Sumit Nagal that is B option and India's top tennis player Sumit Nagal advances to the second round of the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters. With this he became the third Indian to reach the main draw. And he made history as the first Indian to play an ATP Masters 1000 match on the clay since 1990. And he has defeated uh, Matteo Arnaldi and he is from Italy. Okay. With this, he marks his third win against uh, Matteo Arnaldi. Okay. Here correct answer is B option that is Sumit Nagal. Next question is. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which company to jointly develop an indigenous train control management system. This is Bharat Electronics Limited and uh, Bharat Ele Electronics Limited along with BEML Limited signed a memorandum of understanding to jointly develop an indigenous train control management system. And this exchange took place at BEML headquarters and uh, the collaboration aims to reduce India's import dependency for train communication technology and it aligns with Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative for the world class rail products. Okay, correct answer is Bharat Electronics Limited. Next question is Zapori Zia nuclear plant recently seen in the news is located in which country? So it lies in the country Ukraine and uh, amidst ongoing conflict, Russia and Ukraine exchange accusations of launching kamikaze drones targeting this nuclear power plant and it was captured early in the war and the reactors are gradually being shut down despite intermittent attempts to reconnect to the Russian energy grid. So it is situated in Ukraine and the plant's six power units utilize the VVER reactors and the proximity to the 1986 Chernobyl disaster site adds gravity to this potential risk.
okay simply you have to remember the location of zaporizhia nuclear plant it lies in ukraine next is the city of mirage recently awarded a gi tag for its craftsmanship in musical instruments is located in which indian state so it is a town in maharashtra's sangli district and it is known for crafting sitaras and tanpuras it earns the gi tag recently and these instruments are highly sought after by the classical musicians and the film industry professionals okay so artisans claim their instruments that they are favored by prominent artists for their quality and sound simply you have to remember that city of mirage has been awarded a gi tag and it lies in the maharashtra state now you can be asked that recently which country has made immediate changes to an employment visa program this is the country new zealand the new zealand government swiftly implemented the reforms to the accredited employer worker visa scheme so as to attract the essential skills while safeguarding the migrants from exploitation so they have responded to the unsustainable uh, net migration levels and the immigration minister emphasized the crucial role of immigration policies in revitalizing the economy and these changes aim to align immigration settings with the national priorities for sustainable growth and uh, address the vulnerabilities in the migrant workforce right you can be asked it uh, which country has made immediate changes to an employment visa program this country is new zealand recently where was the sagar kavach exercise held here correct answer would be lakshadweep and uh, this two day coastal security exercise was recently held in lakshadweep islands and the exercise involved maritime security agencies like indian navy indian coast guard marine police fisheries and the custom okay so the venue for sagar kavach exercise is lakshadweep after chabahar india has recently secured the right to operate at which a overseas port here answer is sitwe port and india gains approval from the ministry of external affairs to manage its second overseas port that is sitwe port that lies in myanmar country so sitwe is situated at the kaladan river's mouth in rakhine state in this country myanmar it is developed under the kaladan multimodal transport project which is supported by india's grant aid and this strategic move is poised to amplify the trade prospect for india's northeast which fosters the enhanced commerce between india and myanmar right so india has recently secured the right to operate the sitwe port also these days the satpula dam was in news you can be asked about its location satpula dam lies in delhi fine next is gangol festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which indian state so it is a significant festival in the state of rajasthan and it honors the union of lord shiva and lord parvati okay so it symbolizes the marital bliss and it is celebrated in the month of chatra also it signifies the onset of spring so women worship the clay idols of gan and goni seeking blessings for marital happiness of their husbands well being and the unmarried girls pray for so suitable spouses while the married women wish for their husbands health and longevity okay so gangol festival is celebrated in the state of rajasthan recently navy chief admiral r hari kumar has awarded an on the spot unit citation to which indian naval ship for anti piracy operation so admiral r hari kumar who is our chief of naval staff honored the ins sharda at southern naval command kochi with the on spot unit citation for its successful anti piracy effort and the ship played a crucial role in rescuing 19 crew members of the iranian fishing vessel omari from the somali pirates so ins sharda utilizes the surveillance data and uh, they convertly tracked the vessel which launches a uh, hello and prahar team at dawn so this operation exemplifies indian navy's commitment to maritime security okay here correct answer is ins sharda last question is recently who became the first person to run across africa this is british national russ cook and also he is known as hardest geezer he conquered an epic challenge spanning over 352 days where he departed from south africa's south and reached to tunisia's north he completed this journey by raising the charity funds and he aims to inspire others with his feet uh, potentially the first to run africa's length and he emphasizes the power of sports at a press conference in tunisia okay so rus cook became the very first person to run across africa okay
so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsan signing off